Hi, this is Dr. Epstein. I'm here showing the making of a, an eyebrow, basically a restoring of an eyebrow with a transplant procedure. This is a 0.5 millimeter blade. You can see how tiny it is. I'll use 0.6 millimeters for the body for two hair grafts. But basically the eyebrows divide into three portions. The head, which is where the hairs mostly grow in a, in a vertical direction. Then very quickly they grow in a crosshatch pattern. The upper hairs grow downwards, the bottom hairs grow upwards in a uh, crosshatch in the in the body, uh, crosshatch pattern in the body, and then lastly in the tail. Patients uh, lost most of her eyebrow hair. She has had a tattoo. It uh, was done several years ago, so she still has a little bit of, a, of uh, markings from that. But let me just show you basically, I've always started a little bit, is in for the tail, you can see that I'm making these recipient sites following my original donor, from my original marked out lines, and you see how flat I'm making them and you see how these hairs all on the top are going to grow straight downwards and you'll see as I continue to proceed laterally so these are going to grow straight downwards now I know that very quickly along the top portion of the head they very quickly grow in a more horizontal to vertical direction so you see in the, this area they're growing almost directly vertical Let's go back out here again. I've always started making these, which are growing in, a, in an upward direction, upward and lateral. And you see, once again, staying very flat. And as I proceed more medially towards the um, towards the head of the eyebrow, they're going to very quickly grow in a more vertical direction upwards and you can actually see that that's paralleling the natural direction of growth of eyebrows. So I've done the out, basically I've done the, the, the outside of the perimeter. I go back out here again and I make another row. So I'm still going downwards. And for a matter of expediency, I'm going to show you once again how I then come back again. This time, growing upwards. So once again, creating that crosshatch pattern. And with these small blades, I'm able to work in between each prior recipient site. Now I'm using a 0.6 millimeter recipient site because this is where the, the, um, the slightly larger two hair grafts are going to grow. And once again, I'm, I'm reinforcing that crosshatch pattern. These superior hairs are growing downwards, and meanwhile these inferior hairs are going to grow upwards. Don't use twos in the, in the body, or rather in the tail of the eyebrow. So this is a nice example. These are growing upwards and these are going downwards once again hopefully using two hair grafts so we get a nice um, density centrally so you see we've got these hairs, the superior hairs growing more downward downward, and the inferior hairs growing more superiorly so once again I'm making more of this cross hatch pattern And then as we proceed more medially, and this is where the two hair grafts are going to pretty much stop, right around here. So then what I'll do, once again, I'll go back to my 0.5 millimeter recipient site, and just do some filling in. Thank you. And you can see once again I'm making more recipient sites. And then to finish up this this section. Good. And what we'll do now is we'll start planting those and um, and then I'll come back and make some more to further round it out and make it more even. I can see already that we're gonna need to bring this one up just a little bit here 
uh, but I'll be that'll be better assessed once the patient is um, sitting upright and we have these uh, initial round of recipient sites already planted and you can see on this side that I've already done you can see sort of a more completed look um, these hairs growing upwards these hairs growing downwards and that's how it works